Hello everybody, I will be comparing the Mars TS3000 to the HLG 550 Red Spec Grow Light. Both are made for 5x5 space and one costs only half of what the other costs. Okay, let's go. The TS3000 needs a little bit of assembly. Ah, my eyes! This is the Horticulture Lightning Group. It is already assembled. Ah, my eyes! Now we need to measure these things because we want to know what they can do. This is the grow light. This is the electricity. You plug that into the wall. This is the light that comes out. We are measuring how much electricity something uses. It's one of these things. It tells us how many watts go in. And then we use this thing to measure how much light is coming out of it. Now we need to make a little scoreboard here. Mass versus HLG. And we are going to compare the power, the real draw, watt that each unit draws from the wall. Then we measure the light each unit produces out of those watts. And we got the price here, how much they cost. And also interesting is the lifetime of those. Contestant number one, plugging in the Mars TS3000, draws 425 watts off the wall. Now to measure the light output, I am preparing a bunch of dots on my table here. And now I will measure the light intensity at each spot. Brightest spot is always in the middle, right under the unit. And we have 1060 micromole per square meter per second. Okay, I've measured the intensity in 25 different spots. Now I want the average of all of these. So I'm creating a spreadsheet and I'm typing all of these values in there. Now we need to have the average. 580 micromule per square meter per second on average. And I've added that into our scoreboard. Hang on, I forgot something. I need to measure how hot this thing is. Switch it back on. I need some coffee. This is my digital thermometer. I will be taking the temperature from six different spots. First temperature spot, 125 Fahrenheit. Next, kind of in the middle, 137. Put it on top of the driver. Okay, so I measured temperature in five different spots. It should be enough. Now let's take the average, 124 Fahrenheit. That equals 51 Celsius. Next up, the HLG. Electricity consumption first, it draws nothing. Or well, that's because the dimmer is all the way down, so I crank it up. And it pulls 478.4 watts. So next I measure again the light output and to make sure we have comparable results, I make sure this light hangs at exactly the same height as the mass unit. And I've been using the height of the chips, not of the case. Okay, so in red we have the HLG numbers and in black the mass. Okay, and the average light out is 728 micromoles. Let's find out how warm this thing gets. And the average temperature is 113 Fahrenheit. And that means it's about 10% cooler than the mass. Okay, how about efficiency? If I divide 580 by 425, 1.36 per watt, 1.52 per watt. The HLG makes more light per watt. It's more efficient. What about the price? So right now, as I'm filming this, the mass costs 440 US dollars. 
the HLG unit 849. By the way, under the video are links to these things and also a voucher. You can get it a little bit cheaper than this. There's one thing that is not talked about much and that's lifetime of LEDs because they lose their brightness over time. I found a video from YouTuber Micro who did a long-term test on the Samsung chips used in the HLG and after 6,000 hours they lost about 5%. There is no such test for the Epistar chips used in the Mars unit. We don't know. I was able to find pricing. These are the Epistar chips used in the Mars. They cost 1.7 cent each. The Samsung chips used in the HLG unit cost 8.5 cent each. So that's about five times more. What does that exactly mean? I just have a gut feeling that the cheaper chips from Epistar burn out faster. They don't last as long as the Samsung chips. I'm gonna give the Mars 1.5 out of 3 and the HLG 3 out of 3 for lifetime. So there we go. HLG produces 20% more light than the Mars. It costs almost twice as much. The Mars will not last as long. The LEDs will lose brightness quicker. They both work for a 5x5 area. The HLG is in the very high price class and I would expect that the quality is impeccable but it's not. This shoddy dimmer knob at the back and also just now this broke. Uh, other than that this heatsink, this is a thick aluminium plate, it's beautifully machined. This is nice quality. It cools the boards nicely which also means they last longer. The red LEDs are made by Osram, also very good quality so the chips are really great here. The overall quality nice. The Mars does a really good job for the money. It costs half as much. It did also have a quality issue because it got banged up during transport. The PCB is not properly touching the heatsink. The LEDs are basically budget versions of these LEDs. I like that they're using two different white colored LEDs in here. They also use red ones but all of these LEDs are I believe Epistar. I have links to both of these units under the video and I also have put vouchers there. You get a, get a little discount with those vouchers. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching my video and happy growing.